up on this floor at the Johnston's house in New Miami for the last couple of weeks. Putting in some hard work and effort. As you can see, the floor is depicting a cougar strapped to a rocket. <laughs> to it for the freshman and sophomore float. And we want to thank the Johnstons for allowing their house to be used to make the float. I believe that is the one and only Mr. Noah O'Shea on the float. Give him a cheer. Coming up behind them is the junior senior flow. <laughs> the junior senior flow is depicting the New Miami Viking locomotive <laughs> barreling out of a tunnel and heading for a cougar that has been tied up on the tracks by a dastardly villain, perhaps a very the We'd like to thank the Americans for letting the juniors and seniors build their floats in their backyard for the last couple of weeks. Let's hear it for the junior senior floats. Now, our winners of the float competition tonight goes to the juniors and seniors. for homecoming court. Miss Corey Allen, escorted by Mr. Pete Honecker. Major Bay Body. And major in anesthesiology. Well, I would like to thank all of our family and friends for all their love and support throughout the years. The Honaker is the son of Pete and Anna Honaker. He's president of both the senior class and National Honor Society. And he serves both with an iron fist yet a heart of gold. Pete is also editor of the school newspaper and photo editor slash photographer of the yearbook. In his spare time, Pete loves watching and making movies and listens to music, especially the greatest band of all time, Pearl Jam. He got so excited when he mentioned Pearl Jam. next year somewhere, where that somewhere is, he is not certain yet, but he plans to major in film production at whichever college or university is lucky enough to have him, and one day hopes to land a job in the motion picture industry. He would like to thank his parents for their love and guidance over the years. Corey and Pete would like to thank Pete's grandmother for the use of her truck. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Corey Allen, escorted by Mr. Pete Honaker. In the next car, Miss Rachel Wilson, escorted by Mr. Austin Morgan. Wilson is the daughter of Eric and Renee Wilson. She's a member of the newspaper staff as well as a member of the 2014 yearbook staff. In her spare time, Rachel enjoys hanging out with her friends. Rachel plans to attend college next year and major in nursing so that one day she can work with newborn babies. She would like to thank her parents for all their support through the years and a special thanks to Miss Haley Clancy for being such a great friend. Austin Morgan is the son of Steve and Mimi Morgan. Austin plans on playing basketball on the basketball team this winter and is 
will be his fourth year on the team. He is also a vice president of the National Honor Society, co-editor of the yearbook, and a writer for the newspaper. In his spare time, Austin enjoys maxing and relaxing and acting all cool, shooting some basketball outside the school, oh and listening to music. <laughs> After graduation, Austin plans on attending Miami University to major in education. He would like to thank his parents, his brothers and family, his girlfriend, and God for always being there and supporting him along the way. Rachel and Austin would like to thank Mr. Gary Richmond for the use of his fine automobile. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Miss Rachel Wilson, escorted by Mr. Austin Morgan. is Miss Alexis Chandler, escorted by Mr. Nick Johnson. <laughs> Alexis Chandler is the granddaughter of Pat and Wayne Baker and the daughter of Melissa Baker. She has been a varsity volleyball player for three years. For the last two years, Alexis has been in the health tech program at Butler Tech. In her spare time, Alexis enjoys being with her young wife and enjoys spending time with her family. <laughs> Graduation, she plans to attend EMT training and then she is going to go off to nursing school. Alexis would like to thank her family and friends for all their support and encouragement. Escorting Miss Alexis Taylor is Nick Johnson. He is the son of Rick and Angela Johnson. As you can tell from his uniform, Nick is a member of the varsity football team. In his spare time, Nick enjoys hanging out with his friends and youth group. After graduation, Nick plans to join the military and pursue a career in the medical field. Nick would like to thank his family, friends, and coaches for all their love and support. Alexis and Nick would also like to thank Beverly Riley for the use of her vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Alexis Chandler, escorted by Mr. Nick Johnson. And our next car will be Miss Taryn McIntyre, escorted by Mr. Jacob Newton. Miss <laughs> Taryn McIntyre is the daughter of Sandy and Wade McIntyre. She has played volleyball and softball for the past seven years. She's been cheerleading since first grade, and for the past two years, she's been out of her tech school of the arts, majoring in dance. Who's got the laser thing? Keep <laughs> shining it on everybody's faces. In her spare time, Taryn enjoys being active, painting, spending quality time with her family and friends. Good God! After graduation, Taryn hopes to be accepted to her dream college in Ohio State, where she will study psychology, and she plans on doing the Air Force. Karen would like to thank her smart and beautiful mother and her superhero hunk of a dad for all their guidance, love, and support. And to thank her friends for their love and the best memories that they've already made and are yet to make. Mr. Jacob Newton is the son of David Newton and Carrie Bowman. Jacob is a member of the varsity football team. He's played for four years. In his spare time, Jacob enjoys being active and watching college football. After graduation, he plans to attend Defiance College, where he'll play football and major in athletics training. Jacob would like to thank his parents for their love and support, and his family for their love and support. Taryn and Jacob both would like to thank Wade McIntyre for the use of his sweet truck. And finally, Miss Olivia Payne. Has but she is staying strong. After graduation, she plans on attending Cincinnati State and hopes to become an RN. Olivia would like to thank her parents, family, boyfriend, friends, and the entire village for showing her so much love and support while she was in the hospital. Fourth year basketball and 
baseball this year as well. Randy White Singham and his friends and being a member of Beyond the Club. After graduation, Randy plans on continuing his golden career and getting up some doobies on the weekend. Randy White Singham and his friends and being a member of Beyond the Club. After graduation, Randy plans on continuing his golden career and getting up some doobies on the weekend. Randy White Singham and his friends and being a member of Beyond the Club. Olivia and Randy would like to thank the O'Shea family for the use of their fine luxury automobile. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Olivia Payne and Mr. Randy Lee. If we look right down here on the field, we have last year's king and queen, King Clay Williams. Give away, Clay. Give away to the fine people. Your, your time as king is coming to an end, sir. You've done a lot of good, but you must relinquish your crown. Next to him is the lovely queen, reigning queen, it's Kayla McDaniel. They have ruled well for this last year. And we thank you, as, our, as loyal subjects, we thank you both. They will be relinquishing their crowns tonight to our homecoming king and queen of 2013-2014. You smuggle cookies on? No. All right, everybody got their cameras ready. Is our homecoming court ready? Let's give everybody a big wave. This year's homecoming king is Mr. Randy Lips. You have to wear that for the rest of the game. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Randy Lips, our homecoming king. And now, Miss Kayla McDaniel will crown our homecoming queen, which is the very lovely Miss Olivia Payne. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for our homecoming court. Huh? Huh? Turn it off? Yeah. 